Genesis 24, verse 32. Then the man came to the house, and he unloaded the camels, and provided straw and feed for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the feet of the men who were with him. Food was set before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told about my errand. And he said, Speak on. So he said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has blessed my master greatly, and he has become great. And he has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, male and female servants, and camels and donkeys. And Sarah, my master's wife, bore a son to my master when she was old. And to whom, to him he has given all that he has. Now my master made me swear, saying, You shall not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, in whose land I dwell. But you shall go to my father's house and to my family. And take a wife for my son. And I said to my master, Perhaps the woman will not follow me. But he said to me, The Lord before whom I walk will send his angel with you and prosper your way. And you shall take a wife for my son, for my family, and from my father's house. You will be clear from this oath when you arrive among my family. For if they will not give her to you, then you will be released from my oath. And this day I came to the well and said, O Lord God of my master Abraham, if you will now prosper the way in which I go, behold, I stand by the well of water, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin comes out to draw water, and I say to her, Please give me a little water from your pitcher to drink. And she says to me, Drink, and I will draw for your camels also. Let her be the woman whom the Lord has appointed for my master's son. But before I had finished speaking, in my heart, there was Rebecca coming out with her pitcher on her shoulder. And she went down to the well and drew water. And I said to her, Please let me drink. And she made haste and let her pitcher down from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will give your camels a drink also. So I drank, and she gave the camels a drink also. Then I asked her and said, Whose daughter are you? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahor's son, whom Milcah bore to him. So I put the nose ring on her nose and the bracelets on her wrists. And I bowed my head and worshipped the Lord and blessed the Lord God of my master Abraham, who had led me in the way of truth to take the daughter of my master's brother for his son. Now if you will deal kindly and truly with my master, tell me, And if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered and said, The thing comes from the Lord. We cannot speak to you, either bad or good. Here is Rebekah before you. Take her and go, and let her be your master's son's wife, as the Lord has spoken. And it came to pass, when Abraham's servant heard their words, that he worshipped the Lord, bowing himself to the earth. Then the servant brought out jewelry of silver, jewelry of gold and clothing, and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave precious things to her brother and to her mother. And he and the men who were with him ate and drank and stayed all night. Then they arose in the morning, and he said, Send me away to my master. But her brother and mother said, Let the young woman stay with us a few days, at least ten. After that she may go. And he said to them, Do not hinder me, since the Lord has prospered my way. Send me away, so that I may go to my master. So they said, We will call the young woman and ask her personally. Then they called Rebekah and said to her, Will you go with this man? And she said, I will go. So they sent away Rebekah, their sister, and her nurse, and Abraham's servant, and his men. And they blessed Rebekah and said to her, Our sister, may you become the mother of thousands of ten thousands, and may your descendants possess the gates of those who hate them. Then Rebekah and her maids arose, and they rode on the camels and followed the man. So the servant took Rebekah and departed. Now Isaac came from the way of Beer Lahai Rai, for he dwelt in the south. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field in the evening. And he lifted his eyes and looked. And there the camels were coming, 